Shaped him behind for Carmichael. Goalie off of his line and into the back of the net. As things in MLS Next Pro continue to heat up, the report comes to you from the Bay Area, home of the Town FC for the first time ever. I'm Michelle Montaigne. The playoff picture in the Western Conference is beginning to take shape. But as far as the latter parts of match week 28 go, only one team in the Eastern Conference has been able to clinch a playoff spot. That would be FC Cincinnati too. So to say that there is drama unfolding would be quite the understatement. Union 2 added to the dramatics with a thrilling comeback win over New York City FC 2. Down by two goals, Union 2 scored three unanswered to take a 4-3 victory and clinch their place in the postseason for the third straight year. As of now, they are just the third team to make the postseason in all three seasons of MLS Next Pro. Also clinching a postseason berth, Orlando City B. The Young Lions scored three second half goals and a win over Chicago Fire 2 to make their way back to the playoffs. Jack Lynn opened the scoring, netting his third goal in three straight matches. And speaking of streaks, goalkeeper Carlos Mercado posted his second consecutive clean sheet, his third of the season. The other team from Florida inched their way closer to the postseason. Inter-Miami 2 earned three valuable points on the road thanks to a game winner from 23-year-old Ryan Carmichael in a 1-0 win over Atlanta United 2. After finishing last season at the bottom of the Eastern Conference, the turnaround this year has been impressive to watch. So that brings us to who is still in contention in the packed Eastern Conference. Inter-Miami 2 is trailed by NYCFC 2, Crew 2, and Crown Legacy, who each have 42 total points. Now, Fire 2 is just one point behind. They occupy the final playoff spot entering match week 29. Still in the hunt is Carolina Core, Chattanooga, and Red Bulls 2. What's most impressive, just two points separate spots 5 through 10. Into the box for Donnery! Off the post and in! Medina into the box, four defenders swarming him. Still gets the shot away! And somehow finds the back of the net! Just like the iconic Lombard Street here in the Bay Area, this season has featured several twists and turns. Fitting that the home team, the Town FC, has seen their fair share. In match week 28, they had a chance to clinch a playoff spot over perennial playoff team St. Louis City 2. And clinch a spot they did. After a back and forth first half, Julian Donnery opened the scoring in the 69th minute for the Town FC before Cruz Medina sealed the deal with the second of the match in the 80th minute. With the victory, head coach Dan DeGeer shared how the club is feeling as they head back to the postseason. I think we're very proud, right? proud of the group, proud of the players, proud of the staff. Um, it's not been an easy year, there's been some ups and downs, but at the end of the day, we're in a really good spot going into the playoffs now. But I think this year, the guys are very confident, right? They understand it's a quality group. Uh, we have the ability to run deep in the playoffs, and that's the expectation now. So we, we lost some, you know, a good amount of games at home last year, so we take a lot of pride playing at home this year, which is why our record's been pretty good. Um, so I think that's been a big piece of it. To really showcase all the twists and turns, if we look at this season overall, they started out the season in the 12th spot and toward the bottom of the Western Conference standings. Slowly but surely, they've been climbing their way up, and by the time Match Week 28 came to an end, they find themselves in fourth place in the playoffs and with a chance to host in the postseason. In this episode, we're sprinkling in a little history for you. Right here, we are standing in the first civic settlement in the state of California. Back in 1777, Jose Joaquin Moraga founded what is now known as San Jose, a city that is rich with Latino culture and traditions. During Hispanic Heritage Month, we asked both Emmy Ochoa and Cruz Medina of the Town FC what playing for MLS Next Pro while representing their backgrounds means to them. To represent, you know, uh, generations back to when all my family lived in Mexico to now being a second generation in America, um, it means everything. Um, 
yeah, I mean, being a professional in the U.S., being able to play games on live TV, it, it, it's surreal, you know, being able to have my family in Mexico still watch my games because they're on live stream, yeah, it's, it, it's really amazing. No, I think it's a huge honor, you know, uh, my both of my parents were, were, were uh, we're born in Mexico, uh, all my family's from Mexico, so it's a huge honor to represent them, you know, and, and uh, play here in San Jose, so it's, it's definitely a huge honor for sure. Also out west, several results and scenarios helped Ventura County clinch their spot in the postseason. Thanks to eight shootout wins and ten chances on the season, VCFC is living proof that the extra point, thanks to a shootout win, can make a world of difference. So let's take a look at the teams still contending to make it entering match week 29. Each of these teams still have two games remaining with Whitecaps FC2 holding on to the seventh spot. Dynamo Dose currently holds the last playoff spot. On the outside looking in, we have Timbers 2, Sporting Kansas City 2, Real Monarchs, and defending champions Austin FC2. Altabelli over the wall and in! Adebelli presents himself, approaches the box, steps over, Adebelli, and he digs himself in. Altabelli, he scores! Altabelli has scored! Numbers for Toronto, Ayari, it's loose for Altabelli, it's two in quick succession. Not only is the young man on your screen right there, the 2022 MLS Next Pro inaugural season MVP, Jason Russell Rowe, also holds the record for most consecutive games with a goal scored. But there's a new name eyeing that streak. That would be this young man, Julian Altabelli, who has now scored in eight straight games. You can do everything by yourself. You need to have your teammates to help support you and and help you get through tough times or, or good times. So to have your teammates around you, it's like having a family. I'm taking everything one game at a time, and if I am able to break that record, it would be amazing, but I focus on one game at a time, and hopefully things will come as, as they come. A lot of credit goes to him for the shift in mentality that he's had, um, and the leadership role that he's taken on, I think has been absolutely fantastic. And the example that he sets for, for younger players coming through the club is that you know, there is a pathway here and, and, and if you succeed, if you enjoy football, if it's a passion and there's quality and there's dedication to the club, then you'll have some success. Here's a look at the longest scoring streaks in MLS Next Pro history. We mentioned the guy with the record and of course Altabelli closing in on it. Last year saw Ibrahim Kasuli of New York Red Bulls 2 and Patrick Aguiaman of Crown Legacy each score in seven straight matches. And Yosuke Hanya rounds out the top five with a six game scoring streak. Action. Our MLS Next Pro newsletter is close to making its debut. Make sure you sign up for it. You can do so at the link below. As we wrap up our journey through the Bay Area, we're reminded how much history this city holds. And speaking of history, Crown Legacy FC's Aaron John is on the brink of making MLS Next Pro history. It's incredible to think that the young Crown Legacy Rising star was an academy player at the start of this season. The 18-year-old's breakout year, which included tying the single-season assist record, helped him land a homegrown contract with Charlotte FC this past July. Now, John shares the single-season assist record with three other players. Both Romeo Beckham and Mohamed Farsi produced 10 assists in 2022. Last season, Rapids 2's Marlon Vargas dished out 10. And this season, it's Aaron John in double digits, trying to set a new record with two more regular season matches to go. We're getting down to the wire. The next time I see you, we'll be gearing up for the pivotal point of the season to date, Decision Day. Until then, I'm Michelle Montaigne saying so long from the city by the bay.